This will cleanse your uterus of fibroid, block tube, ovarian cysts, and also balance your hormone. You need two onions to begin with. Red onions to be precise, please. Red onions is loaded with a lot of nutrients, with a lot of antioxidants that helps a lot with infertility issue. So when you get your two onions, you peel, you peel the, um, you get out the peel just the way you are seeing me do it. Okay, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I have truly appreciate you. Do enable to like the video if you love it and also share it out to the benefit of others. And if you want to become a friend, a family, click on the red subscribe button and join this home and you will not regret it. My returnees, my family that always come back. God bless you, okay? So, after chopping up your onions, you transfer it into your blender. This video is a very powerful recipe for those of us who are finding it difficult to conceive. If you have any infertility issue, do prepare this at home and you will not regret it, okay? Now, I will go ahead and blend these onions because this is the number one ingredient we need in this recipe. I'll go ahead and blend the onions. You can roughly blend it. You can smoothly blend it. You can even pound it. You can grate it. Anyone that you can afford to make, okay? Now, after blending it, I just transferred it into my pot. As you're seeing it, this is the liquid of the onions. I also rinsed it. And added it water also into the pot. The next ingredient is our black seed. Black seed is very powerful if you don't know. Black seed heals a lot of healness. Even the oil is super, super, super duper good. So you get your blender. Please don't buy blended um black seeds. Get yourself the seeds itself. Go ahead and blend it yourself to avoid stories so this is my own black seed as you're looking at it and i'm gonna blend it myself so i transferred it into my blender and went ahead and blend it to get my powder because we need the powder for this recipe this will help you to conceive in no time and i mean it if you can prepare this okay now, after blending my black seed, as you can see, look at this. I have a lot of it. I have enough quantity from the blended black seed. You too can make your own black seed powder this way, okay? And get the same results. Now, we are assured that we know the ingredients we are using to make this, okay? Now, I'll go ahead and just add my 2 tablespoons of, of um, the black seed into my onions, which are blended. Please follow the recipe. Do it as I have instructed. Do it the way you are seeing me do it, alright? Now, you need cloves. Cloves is very powerful. If you don't know the benefits of this clove, please go ahead and make your research on it. Cloves boost fertility. It also boosts your ovulation if you don't know. Cloves is very good. It's, it's antibacterial, anti-cancer, anti-fungi. So this will help a lot in your body if you don't know. I could remember when I was having gas. I was having a lot of it that the bloating will become much this is the cure this is what i used so cloves is very powerful i will repeat the same process by blending the cloves i will blend the cloves and also get the powder just the way i did with the black seed all right remember that if you have any health issues Consult your doctor before going into any natural remedy or um, or herbal remedy because you might be treating infertility while you have um, another health issue, okay? So that you will not have any reaction, okay? 
now so after blending the cloves this is the clove powder i've told you that this clove is very powerful you can use it for cough if you have cough just be taking the tea and the cough will disappear yes it will disappear you can take make a tea of it with um your honey and um, i assure you that you will not regret it okay now this is it after blending it this is the quantity so i will also add the quantity which i need into the pot of our our uh, remedy okay look at it i'll be adding cloves into this also this should be taken during of during your period and ovulation too Yes, because this will also help to boost your ovulation. Take note of that. So go ahead and boil this for just five minutes. You're not boiling it more than five minutes. Take note. You're not boiling it more than five minutes. And you go ahead and sieve it out. Sieve out the shaft to remain to remain the water before you add the next ingredient. Now let's talk about this infertility that we are that we are, we are battling with or we are, we are dealing with okay now if you're battling with infertility be it primary or second infertility there is solution to it but there is one problem that you know bothers a lot of us and that problem is that um that worry you're always worried because you are having infertility issue now if you really want to tackle it you have to take your mind off that worry if you remove your mind off that worry then number one step is settled you can now move forge ahead in looking for solution to solve the infertility issue because one problem with it is that when you're looking for a child or looking for something you're so eager to know to do anything just to get it okay and you're always thinking you're always worried always thinking thinking that thinking alone will make what you're looking for not to come as easy or as fast as you want it okay now one thing i will advise you if you are battling with infertility is that you should take your mind off your worries take your mind off your worries and then you are good to go and i promise that before you know it you will get the solution which you seek for this is the color of the remedy now i will go ahead and add honey into this now you can decide to drink it this way but you can this you can add honey to add a taste to it okay then after adding the honey you stir it properly and then you can store it in your fridge you know you can store it into your fridge and you take like this you take half glass of this half glass of this is what you're going to be taking during your period then you can as well warm it up if you want to take it you can warm it up and then you drink it during your period and during ovulation 